Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you at the UK Holiday Bank Monday, 19 August. Should be a quiet one here in Europe. There's some news out overnight. A bunch of different sources, right? We got Hong Kong protests, which were going a bit out of hand. We got Brexit news, um, you know, leaks, and then we got a big tidal wave of media now reporting on negative yields and basically the price of fixed income. So let's have a look at fixed income. First and foremost, um, this is the tens. We dogeed on Friday. Like a lot of fixed income, it went down, but then closed back where it was. Um, is this going to be the left-hand shoulder over here, this sort of beginning of August, which will lead to a right-hand shoulder here eventually, and a break of 129.15. Get our little head here. This is, this is what it looks like on the 240s. Is this a shoulder? Is this going to be a head? Are we going to come down and make another shoulder? And cruise down to 127.27. I don't know. Throwing that out there. Um, I do know we're at fever pitch uh, when talking about fixed income. And of course I also know that fixed income is um, mispriced as far as I'm concerned. So, this could be an opportunity to make some money on the short side. Let's look at Poons. Funny old day on uh, Friday. We got the late news from Der Spiegel about Germany readying the fiscal bazooka. This weekend we got some more news from SPD uh, that they've got $50 billion they could easily spend. Uh, if they do, that's 50 billion of boons they're going to have to sell, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This um, should take fixed income a little. Uh, boons. This could be the turning point in boons. So the low on Friday was 16. We closed back up at 99. Looks like we're going to open uh, down here at 60. Bit of a gap open here. Uh, let's keep an eye on this 20 level. What was the exact low? Let's keep an eye on 14. The um, the low from Friday. Core short Boons or Core short Bobby uh, as per our deliverance reference on Friday. We like being short Bobby from here. Euro Yen we were 1382 overnight, not a whole heck of a lot going on. The question is, is this going to turn? Uh, the chart is bearish. The world is bearish, Euro Yen. I'm not so sure. Um, the high Friday was 17. We got up to 13. Now we're just sitting here at 95 on a very quiet European morning. We do have like European current account and European CPI today, but it's final CPI, so hard to um, expect much volatility there. We do have also from Germany, Buba, the Bundesbank's monthly report, uh, which I can't imagine. It's going to be very, very bullish, which, you know, that's probably a negative for euro yen but we're watching euro yen for a turn basically because of boons basically because of this fiscal nonsense and then finally because um, we think Powell's going to be dovish and euro dollar has every reason it's going to turn but this is Friday um, so you know we get a lot of time until Friday obviously but um, 
we're looking for a turn in euro. So we know there's going to be stops at 111.62, which was the breakdown, the high on Friday. Uh, was one one eleven thirteen. So we're not we're not a million miles away from that. Are we gonna make a higher high today? I don't know. Today's probably not the day for a turn, but the turn is on our mind uh, in Euro dollar. Let's just put it that way. What else is out there? Dollar yen marginally higher, equities are higher. 25, 45 overnight, boring, boring, boring. The big point here is 107. Can we get back above 107? Not sure. Not much to do in dollar yen. All of the sterling products look like they're turning. We've been talking about this for about three days. Next stop here, uh, 129.65 in sterling yen. Makes no sense based on Boris and his Brexit nonsense. Um, but Sterling looks like it's turned. Trading better right hand side now. Cable, same thing. Uh, next point in cable 122.12. What was the high? 75. There's big, there's pretty big offer. There's about 80 quid to go at 75 on Friday. Let's see if we can punch through that today. I think we probably will. But this sterling chart looks very positive. Um, Euro sterling was the vehicle last week and we did print this very sexy 89 low which matches up with the July 31st low. Uh, but I'm not sure Euro sterling is going to be the best vehicle this week. I just have a feeling straight cable is going to be your horse. Uh, right hand side cable left hand side euro sterling maybe because we have a feeling euro is going to go higher but sterling yen right hand side we we like this directionally let's take look take a look at Aussie CAD and Kiwi dollar CAD looks like it's turned sort of falls into our like is this going to be the beginning of a negative dollar sequence with Powell not 100% sure yet but more importantly Aussie this is a very good level 68.20 and we do have some Aussie stuff this week we have uh, monetary policy minutes Tuesday morning 3.30 a.m. Swiss time uh, so 9.30 p.m. in the U.S. East Coast. This might uh, this might punch this thing up through. I don't although I don't can't understand how the minutes would be too hawkish, but it doesn't really matter what punches it through. You have to just see at the moment what's going on. It could be Aussie yen risk on. It could be it could be a lot of things, but uh, very important this Aussie top side. Gold's tricky here. We feel like, um, you know, you want to be buying this gold, but you kind of want to buy it down here, 1465. Are we going to get a little bit of a, a flush as equities maybe test 2940? Uh, I don't know. Bit crowded up here. It looks like we're turning at the, up at the top side. But fresh longs down at 1460 make, make sense to us. Let's have a look at these S&Ps. Up a half percent overnight. It's no joke. Looks like we're going to test this 2940 level. Uh, why? I have no idea. Um, we are still bearish. We think this is a bear market. So you want to just tactically be selling high ones. You want to stand in front of this because as we saw last week, it, it goes up 80 handles pretty quickly. Um, so we're up 27 handles already. Uh, as we approach this 40 level, you could argue that there will definitely be some stops above 44. And you basically want to be selling between this 44 and 57 area. This looks like a trap break. Um, 
you got a little bit of clear air here but then you got big resistance lurking right around the corner so maybe sell the marginal high above 45 as a tactical trade and suppose we're just going to leave it at that this morning we're right hand side cable uh, euro dollar we're looking at this Aussie level 6820 sterling yen looks interesting um, and we're going to sell super high ones in ES but bank holiday today in uh, in the UK so we're expecting a very very quiet one we've got a lunch table booked um, as is our normal routine uh, on bank holiday days I'll be back for the uh, for the New York Open and uh, we'll see we'll see how things how things go and as I see how the orders have been treated anyway I'll leave that leave you all with that uh, wish you good luck today good trading go ahead and make some dough you deserve it and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow ciao